right, all right, local boy here with some more local lines. Let's jump into this one. We're gonna get onto Saddleback. We finally have some black terrain open. As you can see on the map there, we're gonna drop into the pines, a little bit of gallery, and end up on the main line. So in order to get there, you have to go through a gate, but as you can see right there, everyone is coagulated around the gate opening. And that just makes it super hard for everybody. So if you do wanna wait, that's fine. Just go into the gate and then off to the side so that other people can get through. So now we're just traversing over to get to the gallery. And here's another pro tip. Don't wait right in the traversing line. If you wanna take a break, that's totally fine. Just drop down a little ways so you're not cutting people's um, speed as they're trying to traverse over. Just be mindful of those around you. Just uh, try not to get in anyone's way. Here's a good shot of Big Dog as he's ripping down. This is the gallery. I really like it. If This is a perfect first time black diamond run. If you're kind of graduating from blues and double blues and want to try some trees, this is perfect, honestly. there's um, The trees are very spread out, so it's not too dense, it's not too steep, and has good undulation to it. Um, a little variety of everything. Here's a good shot to kind of show you some of the steepness. Super, super fun. Like I said, this I like Saddleback because there's a bunch of blues off of it and also a bunch of blacks. So it's really good for the whole family if, if uh, there's different variety of skills in the, in the group that you're skiing with. Everyone can ride the lift together and meet at the bottom, but ski terrain that is more suited to them. So we're cutting down, we just finished the gallery, and now we're entering the Tunnel of Fun. To the left is Coco Pelly. I have a video of that up there. Um, this is right here just considered Tunnel of Fun, and it's gonna jump back onto the main line. One thing that I like too is there's always a bunch of hits. Um, some of you have commented on things that you can do to improve your skiing. And that, that, was, that would be one thing. You don't need to like jump huge or anything like that, but just try varying off and just picking different lines, you know, maybe through some trees or, you know, over a little bump or something like that. Just try um, adding more variety to the lines in which you're skiing down the hill. Um, and that will just kind of open up some more, uh, more terrain for you and, and kind of improve some of your skiing ability as well. And so main line just takes you all the way down back to the hub. Uh, this day was pretty crowded as you can see. So we're just going to get back into the saddleback line and jump back up to the top and do one of my favorite blue runs ever, Snow Dancer. So right, off you get, right after you get off of saddleback, you're going to cut to the left and that's Snow Dancer. This one is a perfect beginner run. Um, I would say mid beginner to intermediate. This is just great. It's a very, very mellow blue run. Very wide, uh, very long, just super enjoyable. Um, this is definitely a, a must hit if you're uh, wanting to find some blue terrain. You got the ski school. It's, you know, hardly ever crowded. <laughs> It's just like a win-win on this uh, on this snow dancer. Local girl here did a really good job on showing some fun things about snow dancers. It's just kind of popping off into the trees, taking a little bit different lines. Kind of like what I was saying earlier. Just try add some variety to the way you're riding down the mountain. My niece and nephew love to uh, jump in the trees and you know try to jump off on their skis and things like that so it's pretty fun seeing that but it really helps their skiing. Flying Salmon is another fun blue run as you can see it kind of goes up to the hill to the left so make sure you get a lot of speed and then you can kind of have to walk your skis up then it goes down into this fun kind of ravine um, which is pretty enjoyable too but we're just showing Snow Dancer on this one. Showing off her new helmet and goggle setup looks pretty good. Here's the second half of Snow Dancer. So it kind of goes flat for a little ways and then drops down a little bit more. But as you can see, it's so wide, so it's able to um, hold a lot of people, especially if they're doing big turns, 
Um, this is great if you're trying to still work on your churns and controlling your speed. Really, really good run. Plus all the little fun paths into the trees off to the sides. Makes it uh, good for, for any level of scheme. And then as you can see, it just floats back into main line, right? And so that's high meadow that we're going under. And then you can see the Red Pine Lodge right in front of us. So there's all different, you, you can either go to Tombstone, if you cut over to the right, Red Pine Lodge is right in front of us, the gondola is to the left. And we're gonna cut by the Red Pine Gondola and we're gonna go down Shortcut. That sign said there's no easy way down, but there is. It's blue, so I guess if you're not able to do blue, there's no easy way. But it's able to cut down and you're able to go to either Sun Peak or ride all the way down to the bubble all sorts of ways but quick video I uh, hope you guys liked it please like and subscribe and comment if you have anything that you want us to do I uh, appreciate it and go out there and shred